Hi Emma, it's me, your future self. You grew up in Daniloquin in southern New South Wales. So right now you're probably camping with your family out bush. Swag rolled out, damper cooking on the fire, waiting for the Milky Way to light up the night sky. Right now I'm working for two different universities. I'm an outreach and education officer at Swinburne University of Technology and a senior teaching fellow for first year physics at the University of Melbourne. At 10 years old, you never would have expected a career like this. When you think about your career options, you look to the people around you. You are surrounded by tradies, farmers, accountants, teachers, local businesses, but none of those really appeal to you. There aren't many scientists in Denny, so when you think of science, you put someone in a white coat mixing chemicals in a lab. It'll take you many years to understand just how broad the STEM field really is. In my outreach job, I get to use my creativity and organisational skills. I create fun science programs for people like you to help them explore the wonder of the universe. I'm surrounded by such a variety of people where our different backgrounds actually make us stronger as a team. As a physics teaching fellow, I teach first year physics students. I get to help develop the content that they learn while managing a team of tutors. Using a multifaceted skill set means my day to day work is always new and exciting. And I have so many different pathways available to me as I continue in my career. Studying physics let me understand the inner workings of the world around us. I've studied programming. I've learnt more maths than I thought even existed. I mean, I am from the future, so I could lie and say that I'm a rocket scientist working for NASA, but my brothers already make those jokes. Plus, I don't really know how this whole time travel thing works, and I don't want you ruining all my hard work. But you didn't go into science straight away. Even at the start of year 11, you weren't going to do a single science subject, because you didn't think that was a career for you. When you told your science teacher that, she nearly fainted. So, you agreed to do biology. Then by chance, your ancient history subject didn't run, so you agreed to do physics. You ended up loving the sciences so much that you switched from modern history to chemistry halfway through year 11. You spent the winter break studying six months of chemistry. You set the mid-year test and got the top mark. You nerd. I think that was the moment you decided science might just be for you. Now you're probably worried about how you'd be disadvantaged coming from a rural background. You don't have science role models, other than those you've seen in movies. You didn't get to do expensive experiments at school. You've never seen a university, and no one in your immediate family has a degree. People have high expectations for you, and you're worried about leaving your friends and family behind to travel 300 kilometers to go to uni. I won't lie, they can be tough challenges to overcome but you will overcome them and you'll be so much stronger for it. Growing up in a rural community, you develop many skills that people in the cities just don't have, strengths you didn't know you had. When you move to Melbourne, you'll find that your background sets you apart because you'll be capable of so much more. Physics is a male dominated field, but you love defying expectations and utilizing the skills that only you have. So don't be afraid to take up the challenge. Your old school motto was face the task, which you will. I still love to go out camping and stare up at the night sky. But now I have such a vast understanding of the universe that we're in, and I am fascinated by just staring at the Milky Way. Your decision to study physics has gotten you this far. Who knows where you'll go next?